Thank you for staying with us. Raising awareness about addiction and fighting the stigma. A forum is happening tonight in Enfield, and it's open to the public. One of the speakers is a former Giants player, Jeff Hatch, and he's with me now, along with Pat Reamer, president of the Behavioral Health Network at Hartford Healthcare. Thank you both so much for being here with us. Thank sure. you. All right, Jeff, I want to begin with you because I find your story so interesting. I mean, before the 2006 Super Bowl, you were in a hospital bed recovering from an overdose. I was, indeed, yeah, I was. Um, I had uh, been playing in the NFL for some years, and at that point it had a spinal fusion, which actually ended my playing career. And really at that point I felt completely lost in terms of my, my identity and who I was yeah. and really went over the edge. And, and sure enough, um, ended up after an overdose watching the Super Bowl from a hospital bed. And, and that was a moment where I suddenly realized um, Maybe some change needs to happen, you know. Because you've been dealing with it for more than a decade or so at that point, right? Yeah. So this wasn't new. Oh, no. No, no, no. And I, I think that's the way it is. If if you're an addict or an alcoholic like I am, you know, that problem starts early on. And, and I even say it starts before drug and alcohol use. I mean, I look for myself. I look back at sketchbooks from when I'm 10, 11 years old. And the images in there are, are that of someone who is, is not happy and not okay with the world. Yeah. Um, so I think the solution came for me. And I was dealing with that solution for about 10 years before I really got confronted. Wow, and, and Pat, Jeff's story is just so common these days. We yes. hear about it all too often. Yes, it is. It really is something that continues to just uh, be a real problem in Connecticut. We have, you know, we're headed to well over 700 overdoses again uh, in this year, and that's up from last year. So in spite of all the discussion we're having about it and all the forums we have and people, great people coming forward to put a face on addiction, which is really mm -hmm. important, um, I think that we are still seeing, especially young adults, yeah. who get caught up in this and then unfortunately turn to heroin because it's cheaper. Mm. And that's where we see the overdoses a lot. Yeah, and, and Jeff, for you, you were in the hospital bed and you said that moment it clicked. Why do you think it took so long? Mm. My personal experience was that I was achieving in life. Okay. I was making sure I checked all the boxes. Mm -hmm. I, I dotted all my I's and crossed all my T's so that no one would look deeper into me and see what was really there. Um, and I think that uh, I was the puppet master for as long as I could be, and then finally um, the string got cut, you know? Yeah. And I'm sure we've been dealing with this problem, as we mentioned before, in Connecticut a lot. Mm -hmm. And obviously there could be someone at home dealing with this problem. If they're watching us right now, what would you say to that person? What I would say is do not be afraid to seek help. Please reach out. As much as you feel like it is only you and you are suffering alone and there's no one to help you or no one to get you through it, we are there. I spend my life doing it now. Pat does this work. Those of us that are on the other side to help, we are there for you and we want to help you. And how are you helping people in this situation? What seems to be working at this point? Um, one of the things Hartford HealthCare has really started to do is focus on medication-assisted treatment. We know that sometimes people uh, struggle with this, as, as Jeff did for 10 years, and 87% better chance of getting into recovery and staying in recovery if at least initially, it's not a lifetime commitment, you're treated with some medication that helps you to stay away from drugs and alcohol. So yeah. that's what we're really focusing on. And the last thing I would really emphasize, and I said this to Jeff before, you know, this is really not only about stigma, which is really how the person feels about mm -hmm. their addiction yeah. and themselves and the shame they experience. It's really about discrimination. Mm -hmm. And even though we now have this in every single city, there's not a city in the Connecticut that has not been affected by this. Right. It's still something people are not often willing to talk about and share. Yeah, and Jeff, you sharing your story, right. uh, that's a huge step. Um, when did you realize that you had to start telling this story? It's been that way for me for a number of years. I mean, I've been sober ten and a half years now, so I've been telling my story for a long time. Um, and, and I think that even from the beginning for me, when, when I got well, I saw that really what works most is, is when one person who suffers from this disease talks to another one who suffers from it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, realizing that and having incredible mentors that taught me how to do it and, and, and how to, you know, how to help others, man. You know, it, it's just when you share your experience with somebody else, there's nothing more powerful than that. So. It's just part of what I do. Yeah, and you guys are going to be talking about that later tonight. So yes, you want are. people to show up at this yes, forum. Tell us do. about that. So these forums are open to the public. We really try and have a panel of experts, all, always try and include someone in recovery. The voice of recovery is critical. Um, and I agree completely with you, Jeff, that people who have experienced this are the best people to reach out and draw people in. And so we'll have a panel 
discussion. We'll have time for questions and answers and give information to people who may be seeking information for themselves or for a family member. Yeah, and we've learned those uh, resources and people knowing where to turn for help has certainly proved to be a great resource and critical. Right. Very All right, much so. Pat, Jeff, thank you both so much for being here with us. Enjoy this.